Let's get started on your second problem over quadratic applications. This problem involves trajectory, which is the path followed by a projectile flying or an object moving under the action of given forces. So let's get started. The problem states, a kicker kicks a football 90 feet away from the goal while trying to score a field goal. The uprights for the goalpost are 14 feet high. The path of the ball can be modeled by the equation h equals negative 0.03 d squared plus 3 d, where h is the height of the ball at a distance of d feet from the kicker. Woo! What is going on here? A lot of students really have a hard time when you've read a word problem. What did I just read? A good strategy is if you're given an equation in your problem, take that equation and plug it into y equals on your calculator. So it'd just be y equals negative 0.03x squared plus 3x. So go ahead and pause the video and do that now. So hopefully you have graph this on your graphing calculator, change your window to kind of see what does it look like. And if you use Desmos, it's easier to change your window, kind of zoom in and zoom out. It's more difficult on your graphing calculator, but it's a skill that you should really know how to do. Um, so what does it look like? Well, we know that it passes through our origin at zero, zero, and it goes up like this and down like this. Okay, something like that, right? It's, we know that it's in the shape of a parabola, and we know it's going to be in the shape of a parabola because this is obviously a quadratic. So looking at this, we have our x values and our y values. What do they represent? The problem tells me h is the height of the ball at a distance of d feet from the kicker. So we know our y values represent height in feet. We can label this. And our x or our y values, I don't know if I said that right. Our y values represent height and feet, and our x values represent distance in feet. So this is different from the last problem. The last problem dealt with time, height versus time. This is a problem that involves height versus distance. So this is literally the path of the uh, football. So what does everything represent? We also know. Um, that it's it, the, the kicker is kicking a field goal, right? So we know that in order for the kicker to score, it has to pass through the uprights. The uprights for the goalpost are 14 feet high and they're 90 feet away from the kicker. Okay, so this is important information because it's, it's a little different than the last problem. But let's go through um, A, B, C, and D and work through these um, what what this problem is or what this entire problem is requiring us to do so a says says a says what is the maximum height of the football we're looking for that maximum height that's up here we're looking for the y value of the vertex that's what we're looking for y value of the vertex so how do we find that well to find the y value of the vertex we first need to find the x value of the vertex and how do we find the x value of the vertex? We use this formula, x equals negative b over 2a. So let's plug in those values. x equals negative b, and actually just to save room, I'm gonna write it up here. Negative b over 2a, that's negative three. And I'm gonna erase this as well. Negative three over two times negative 0.03 equals negative three over two times negative 0 0.03 is negative 0 0.06. And then when I divide that out, negative three divided by negative 0 0.06, I get 50. And it's a good idea, um, unless your teacher says that you cannot use a calculator for this, I really like my students to use a calculator so you can just um, you know, see what we're doing, right? What are we doing? Don't let the arithmetic, don't let the math kind of slow you down whenever we're just trying to get a feel of what we're trying to accomplish with these um, application problems. What are we trying to find? So now we're looking for the y value of the vertex. We actually found the x value and that's 50. How do we find the y value? 
when we're given the x value? Plug it in. So I'm going to plug it into my formula. I get h, h equals, so h equals, I'm going to plug in negative 0 0.03 times 50 squared plus 3 times 50. And again, just go ahead and if you want to pause the video and do, um, you can type in this entire expression, negative 0 0.03 times 50 squared plus 3 times 50 all together, or you can break it out and you can do, you know, negative 0 0.03 times 50 squared, that's negative 75, and then 3 times 50, that's positive 150. So, you know, when I break it out like that, now I've got, okay, negative 75 plus 150, that's 75. So 75 feet is my answer, 75 feet. Let's move on to B. B says, what is the horizontal distance of the ball from the kicker when the ball is at its maximum height? The horizontal distance, that's right here, right? That's 50, right? So we can actually take this, bring it down. We don't have to do anything on here. That's 50 feet. Let's move on to C. C says, does the ball make it over the uprights for a field goal? Okay. This means that 90 feet away from the kicker, the ball must be greater than 14 feet. So let's write that down. 90 feet away from the kicker, the ball must be greater greater than, and I'm going to, let's see. The ball must be greater than 14 feet. Don't you just love math and you can use these little symbols? Greater than 14 feet. So let's see what the height is of the ball at 90 feet. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna plug in 90 in for D or 90 in for X. So negative 0 0.03 times 90 squared plus three times 90 and I get negative 0 0.03 times 90 squared. You can work it out or use your, calcula use your calculator. You get negative 243. 3 times 90 is positive 270. When I combine those, I get positive 27, which means that at 90 feet, the ball is 27 feet high in the air, and that's greater than 14 feet, which means yes. Now, I want to point something out on this uh, particular graph. We know that if we're starting at zero and the ball reaches its highest point at 50, right, at a distance of 50 feet away from the kicker, when is the ball going to hit the ground? Because we know what we know about parabolas and that it's symmetrical, right, about that axis of symmetry. So it is this axis of symmetry, right, where x equals 50 is going to split this graph directly in half, which means down here at a height of zero, if we're 50 away from our starting point, we're going to be 50 away from where the ball lands. And so which means the ball is going to land 100 feet away from the kicker, right? So we know at 90 feet, which is about right here, Here's that goalpost, right? And this is 14 feet. Let's call this 14 feet high. We know that that ball up here at 90 feet away from the kicker is 27 feet high in the air. So it is going to pass through the goalpost. The kicker will make a field goal. So let's go and answer D, the last little portion of this problem. What is a reasonable domain and range for the situation? So the domain in this situation for me would be from zero to, I would say 90, 90 feet away from the kicker. That's all we really care about, right? Some students might want to say, well, 100 is when it, when it reaches the ground. That's when the play is completely over, blah, blah, blah. That's fine, right? You know, but in this situation for me, we really want to know. All we want to know is, is the ball going to um, earn the team three points, right? Is the ball going to pass through the, um, the goalpost? Is it going to make it? That's 90 feet away from the kicker. That's all we care about. Our range in this situation, how high is the ball going to go? That's from zero to 
75. That's the highest point of the ball. Okay, and that concludes your notes over this particular problem. Let's move on to the next problem, next video over maximum profits.